Let me just see if that's him. Uh huh. No, no, this is another one. Okay, no, I thought that. Invite might him have been in, him. whoever it is. <laughs> no, it's uh, it's it's something else altogether. But yeah, if would that be okay with you guys? Yeah, I'm recording to just now. Record. We're on. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. So you froze, Petro. Oh dear. That's okay. I'm still I'm back. still here though. I do sometimes have bandwidth issues, but I should be okay now. Okay. okay. Do you wanna, um so I don't know. I'm not here to give a tutorial, but I, I'm I'm happy to start by just um sharing, you know, some of the things, shortcuts and things that I learned. Um cause, like some that are really handy, particularly, and maybe you figured this all out yourselves, but um, I just thought, you know, in the spirit of generosity and just, if it can help you, great. Thank so you. I'll, I'll just start because I think one of the biggest um, challenges that we have in this environment is um, the sense of trying to create a shared space that we're looking at the same thing and that we're in a, the same space together. And obviously that's, you know, we, you probably already discovered. Actually, I should probably ask, you know, what is, let's start with, what, how about we start with like, what is your experience online? So I don't even, um, I'm making, okay. I'm realizing. So yeah, why don't, why don't you tell me what you've done? Okay. So Christian and I have been playing online for two years. Um, and so we have figured out some of those kinks, uh, some of them, um, but I'm sure they're not the same and we may not have the same solution uh than you do gwen and then i've also played with um oh gosh porridge brain where did that go uh what's her name mcafee can you I think put your is her on your screen um so we can see your eyes where am i oh good grief are there you gallery, I am. are you guys in gallery view or speaker view i no i'm in i'm in speaker view but I can see my own face down here, and I just uh, turned it. I turned it landscape so that you're bigger, and um, so that's why I disappeared for a moment. But I think I'm there now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, Christian and I, and I've also played with. Uh, I can't remember her. I just saw her post something on the AI network. Now I've forgotten who she is. <laughs> but I've played with the Thrivable World Quest people. Played with them online as well. So, so yeah, um, have done it for a bit as participant and a, a, quite a few times as um, as facilitator. Great. Well, I look forward to learning. From yeah, you. and we've been using both Skype and more recently Zoom. We find Zoom works better than Skype. Um, I've taught online, but not, I haven't taught improv online. I've done a lot of, so I have a lot of the, and I use Zoom a lot, and I use the Zoom breakout rooms, which are really fun. And yeah. I do a lot of coaching online with video or over the phone. I have mm -hmm. taught some improv games or tried stuff. I've done like trying stuff out or piloting things online. So like I might have an idea and get a couple other people and, and try some things out, but I, and yeah, but I think I'm going to be just, I would love to just hear, I don't care if it's a repetition, just hear like the download of <laughs> like you're saying you might offer Gwen. Yes. I don't think you need to worry yes. about what it fits in because I have no idea what will end up being useful. So I'm just happy to learn and be, you know, yeah. Yeah, and I, go for it. Yeah. I, I like that too, because like I say, our solutions and your solutions may differ completely. So yeah. Yeah, I'll be really curious what you figured out. So um, just the initial thing, what I generally have at the beginning of the session is um, I'll even write in the chat to everybody a series of steps of things to do. And we've, I usually do have a, um, if it's a small enough group, I'll talk to people in advance. I'll have a Zoom orientation in advance that my assistant does where we, you know, make sure they have the bandwidth. And there's some troubleshooting that can be done if there's, you know, if they don't have bandwidth that um that can help oh shoot let me get my power cord excuse me <laughs> where are you located um petro i'm in johannesburg uh, south africa oh okay uh, we're yes. on the other, 
so it's, on the other side yeah on the other side this isn't amazing uh, it's quite quite something and christian i uh, christian who i often work with is in austria and we've we've never met face to face it's not amazing wow yeah. wow you're it's quite something i didn't realize that i thought you were in austria with, with christian no 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 <laughs> i'm in Jersey. Johannesburg. Wow. Oh. amazing um, so yeah, I usually we'll go over it with people, but you know, of course they're understanding what speaker view and gallery view is, is kind of the first step. So we, we want to get into gallery view kind of right. Yeah, out. I'm, I'll do that right now. And you know Erica, if this isn't all, uh, you know, I don't know if we're saying, if I, I can do anything that doesn't, that you don't know what you're, I'm talking about. Yep. Just keep going and I'll, I, um, so I usually use play names. For people, they, um, in fact, I do both. I, they choose a play name and then also a, we keep their, real, their regular name because in Facebook, you can't change your name. So if you have a play name, so I don't know if you've ever done this, but if you have a play name and then you have a, another presence on Facebook, people don't know who, who it is. So I've had to um, have both the play name and the face and the regular name. And we repin our names. So do you know how to do that? Do we rename um, ourselves? So what, what, what we do is um, when we're renaming ourselves at the beginning, putting the play name there, we also give ourselves a number. And okay. um, so to rename yourself, you just click on your face and you click on rename. That's why I mentioned that you need to go into the laptop because you can't do the laptop. Things. I hear you. And um, I, I don't seem to find gallery view on the iPad either. I don't yeah. see where I usually find yeah, it on the laptop. You can't do anything on the iPad or phone. You, I, so I really, uh, I really um, make sure that everybody can, if they have a, a laptop that they're, you know, situated where they can use their laptop for the. For the so screen. I have an idea because it's the email access and the, internet so what i can do is i can we can continue going and then i can switch on the laptop and get it going and when i'm there you can just read because so my challenge is that i only have 40 percent eyesight right so everything is a little bit slower for me and but maybe if you then read out your zoom code it would be easier for me to get on should i just send so, you in um so is it should i just send it to you in an email no, because I can't. And at the moment, my laptop email doesn't work. Okay. So, okay. so, so just have, the, let me know when you're ready for me to read. The thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's going to take a while. So let's play first okay. and I'll note, I'll just be myself for the moment okay. so that I don't confuse this whole process. But it's very interesting that you use play names. I find that yes. fascinating. And so Squirrel, um, I'm what I'm going to do if I as a host see that you've renamed yourself without adding without keeping your regular name or adding a number I'll just okay. do it myself so I can I have control over yours as a host so I'll right. keep the number and then you know so usually what I do is at the beginning of a jam I call them jams is I have uh, music playing and as people come in we're just mm. kind of bopping around and that gives me a little padding and you know for that like one wow. thing. And then I just, I just, you know, we're just sort of bopping around and I will add Erica Marks, is it? Yeah, M A R X. Yeah, okay. So, and then I'll just, I'll just sort of do the tweaks, you know, like now you can see. So there's a convention that I just established. Where do you, uh, uh, how do you play the music? Um, that's a really great question. So I have found that um, I've tried many things. I've tried using a stereo behind me and I don't have the control <laughs> over that. I've tried using a different device for music and I've tried the actual, um, the internal speakers and it's actually the best. It's not great. So you kind of, it's, it's better to <laughs> use music that has lower is is in a lower register um because it's very tinny but it, i'll use my i um itunes on my and, and how 
And you play it, how do you play it through Zoom? Or you do, or does it just sound I'll just, through? I'll just show you right now. Oh, but it's in the, if it's in your ear, like I'm using earbuds, so it, would, it wouldn't work the same way. Yeah, it would, it's fine. It does? Okay. <laughs> that, that sounds pretty terrible. <laughs> Let's see whether there's another one. All right, so you're saying <clears throat> if I play a song now, it's going to do the same thing. You guys are all going to do it. So if I do that too, like I'll try it. Like, like, do you guys all hear that? Full volume. I, I can't hear it. Uh, America's best unlimited network. Sounds great. Yes, it sounds great. So are you just simply playing uh, it on your computer? Yeah, I'm just playing it on my computer. It's going blasting through my earbuds. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Know. I mean, the tricky thing about that is that you can't talk over it it's the same, it, it actually hijacks your audio. So oh. I just stay quiet and I wait. Mm. Um, I'm gonna rename you Petro. Yes, please do. Um, it, seems yeah. like, it seems like if you had it, like you said, you experimented with having like a second caller that's yourself and playing the music on that. That You said you experimented with it. Yeah. It sounds like that would be a good idea because then you could just turn that person's audio off and not have it mixed up with your own? Um, I find that I, I use the music in a way that um, I don't actually, I've never used it where I wanted to talk over it. So it's, it's more complicated to do that, but it sounds like a great solution. What would you like for, uh, shall we get, give her a name? <laughs> what did you name yourself, Erica? Call me sideways. Because that's what you we named see. yourself sideways. No, I'm calling you sideways. Go for it. Because that's how you see me now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be sideways. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, but that's a good idea. You know, if you do want to talk over it, you could try. It's, it's, it, I find um, if, yeah, I haven't actually tried calling in on my Zoom because then I'll have another, there'll be another, you know, window with me and it, you know. That, that has its consequences, <laughs> just visually. Yeah, so no, I am not, I, I can't fix my connectivity. Okay. I seem to have, no, no, I, I yeah, no. I, let's I, let it go. I didn't, I didn't set this up in time and now I've got all sorts of, as it is, you know, whenever you try to do something that you didn't plan for, I find that glitches just happen that never happened before. So instead of me trying to fix this now, I'm just going to accept that I'm on the iPad and see what the, and learn about yeah. the, the constrict, constraints. That's yeah. all. Okay, cool. So thanks. I'm, I'm going to require your patience as much as my own. So let's, Okay. Let's work with that constraint and see how we can be creative within it. Yeah, of course. Fabulous. Yeah, people do. I mean, I had a group with 22 people and yeah. some of them were on iPads. Some of them were on iPhones. And so, you know, you just work with it. Of course. So um, one of the things that I found, so I usually do a warm up at the beginning. And what I found it's because of the visuals, you know, there's a, you can do, um, it's actually passing things works really well. Um, you know, just going one, two, three, everyone knows their order. And, you know, mm -hmm. just passing a sound and movement actually is a really, it's sort of because you don't know where it's going to land and it's, that's got a surprise. So there's a um, kind of working with the fact that the visual space isn't the same as the order is, mm -hmm. um, and use that as a surprise element, I found is nice. You know, so like just air ball, like, you know, so I'll, you're, I'm one, you're two, so I'll, we'll just do a little like. Okay. 
we can't see you. <laughs> <laughs> That's big. So let me see, how do I do this? So that, because now, of course, I don't have gallery view, mm -hmm. which means that um, when the air ball gets to you, Erica, you'll need to make mm -hmm. a big fat noise so okay. that my thing switches to, to the view that, oh, good. Can goodness. you feel, Erica, I mean, like, it's very disturbing to have the, the visual mm -hmm. moving. Like, yeah, I'm trying to get my iPad to stand still so I can use both my hands. That's yeah, my, yeah. So I'm sure it's quite quite disturbing all my all my upsetting movements yeah, I because I've been carrying it around and fetching my fetching. Yeah. My so this is part thing. of your tech check, right? So you probably have a list of like your zoom orientation you're talking about, Gwen. Yeah, is exactly. one is like Please. be on the computer, you know, be have it set up in a still place. Yeah, and you're in so a there. I I'm seated. I have both my hands. You can see me. Yeah. I can see you. So now I'm settled. I will and I have people game. make sure that they have space behind them because oftentimes they're sitting at a desk and they don't yeah. have space to move. And we do, you know, we do do movement stuff. In oh. you know, I do do warm ups. You know, um, this like, is, like yeah. everybody, you know, contract, expand, and it's sort of fun to see, you know, when there are twenty people, you know, contractions and expand. Um, okay. So. Yeah. That's good to know because see like right now, see this is my secret. The reason this wall is white is because it's actually a <laughs> projector screen. And this is how I clean the house before a call. <laughs> <laughs> so really? if I can't move, okay, I guess I can do I that. I definitely won't be able to do much movement with that, yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, that's why I've got some room. I got some room now. I can do my... Yeah, I and I'll, I'll take, I'll unplug. <laughs> Let me unplug my earphones we, because they and I am and that's also another thing is in the orientation I I try to help people so they don't need um, earphones so they can be right mm. right so there you are and here's my space yeah the only problem is now I can't quite see you very well because of what I can't see so so in the I will need to find the room we find the right. room and the lighting we kind of establish the setting yeah right so, yeah so that wouldn't be happening when we were trying to play right okay so um so yeah in some in some play groups um so i'm i'm curious before i move on how do you set up order so just having the numbers and we do the oh, by the way we do the numbers new each time because sometimes people don't show up and we don't want to, and yes. you know, oftentimes um, I'm the one who just does the number as people come in because, you know, they don't, I'm tracking. Actually, I don't do it. My assistant does it. Mm -hmm. so, so for me, I, I don't do visual information. So if everybody just has a number that I need to, I need to respond to visually, that never, never even occurs to me. So we, we establish an order. Um, at the beginning, usually it's alphabetical according to people's names, so that it's not so hard to remember. But we establish an order every time we play a game. So, Alison and Jerry, you you two is going to do this one together. Uh, Christian and and Ben, you going to play together, and so we just set it up verbally. Oh, so what if there are like twenty two people and you have to establish we've an order? We've never had twenty two people, so we've never had to cross that bridge. Mm. Yeah, it's really handy to just, you know, and they can remember because I'll set it up so nobody has to even talk about it. They just, yeah. like, I have, I have, but they have to, they, they have to see it though, you see. Yeah. But they almost, I don't see. see. So, oh. so I don't work with visual information. <laughs> oh, interesting. But I, but that doesn't mean people who can see don't need to. Well, we'll, we can go over the number, like, you know, okay, I'm one, you know, everyone can speak up and then you can, you can, um, so if some, you can know who you're going after, that's. Yes, the first yes exactly. No, that's, that's useful. I think that's fantastic. And I, I can use numbers in future because I know that it'll work for other people than yeah. me and I'll find another way to remember who's who. You know, I have found that how important it is to create as little noise 
technically as possible. As little, like, so we can just come in playing. If, I mean, I, I really learned the hard way, <laughs> as we all do, just that, you know, if you're like asking them to do something or, you know, there's like one thing they do is they put their play name on. And that's already enough to ask them, you know, and to shift into gallery. But it, it, it um, automatically shifts into gallery when you do like come back from a breakout or so sometimes I don't even have to worry about that. Sure. But in the orientation, sure. in the orientation, it's a lot about the space, how they can change their names and then how to, sh um, to um, order. Uh, yeah, it's technical stuff, space stuff and then just renaming themselves and, and learning that we're gonna be doing this. I also do a little bit with shared screen, but um, so we could go in a couple different directions. Um, you know, we could talk about what kinds of games are, give, just given that simple, the fact that we now have an order, what kinds of games I've found work well online. We can talk yes. about a variety of things that can be done, like with shared screen, you know, there's a whiteboard. Everybody can get access to tools. We can all draw together. Um, yeah, we've we've done we've done. So what I've noticed on on whiteboard though is that if the leader uses the whiteboard, not everybody can draw on it. It's is there a setting that you change that? Because usually the leader can draw on the 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 whiteboard, but everybody else does not necessarily have that access. Um, in as far as I've done it, everybody has the access. Okay, so maybe uh, maybe it was just something that Christine and I didn't figure they have out. To go or it's because into their into their tools, you know, um, and and claim the tools. I see. So yeah. So that's so probably a, just a. That's why I train them in the orientation. Yes. And all, the only reason I use it, it's a little cumbersome, but the only thing I use it for is for agreements. Yes. So that everybody can add to agreements and sign the agreements. And then I take a picture of that and it goes on the Facebook page as our show. Right. That's very it useful. goes on the Facebook page. I also have a home page on the site. So on the home page, I put, um, I could actually show you my home page if you want. What would be useful? <laughs> yeah, go, I, I, for, for, for me, I think going into the games would make sense. Okay. Yeah, if you go through games that work and then we just we play them for 30 seconds or a minute, we'll, we'll really remember those, I think. Yeah. It's like we do it for a second. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm having a hard time hearing you. Oh, well, yep, I took off those earbuds. Um, <laughs> so, I'll come closer. I think if we play games, that would be great. If you show us games that work well, and then we'll yeah. play them for 30 seconds or a minute, and then we will yeah we will have a memory of that okay so we did air ball so th these are um like at the beginning i do warm-up games so like passing the present you know and inside the box take you know inside the box so you can pass a box i'm going to give you a present you take you reach inside it and find something and then give that and it'll transform so you know my wedding ring that I lost on that European cruise. Now what do I do with it? You, now you give the, you give that to, you hand something to um, Petro. I'm not setting this up like we're really doing it. But okay. I, well, yeah, I do. So I put it back in a box? Um, sure. Is that what? Yeah. You tell us how you teach it. I might um, so it. I usually um, teach it where that you give the, you pan the wedding ring and it transfer and she picks up something else. Oh, thank you for the, so it'll transform in between boxes. So there's no box, I'll just hand it to you, the wedding ring. Again. And you pick, Petro pick takes the, takes this little thing. So you're handing her this thing and then she lets it transform into something. Right, just, uh, uh, just say something, Erica, so you, I can, the camera switches to you. So here's a wedding. Here's the wedding ring. A, a little louder because it hasn't switched. Here's, here's the wedding ring right okay. here. There you go. I have it. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Oh, 
Ooh, wow, this is such a fat, juicy earthworm. <laughs> I'm going to feed it to my fish. I've got piranhas back here. Ooh. So, okay. Oh, it's really juicy. They handed to me. <laughs> I, you know, we don't have to do this for very long, but, but you got the no, idea. But that earthworms, but the point is that earthworms, you know, I can separate them and give ah. one piece to the piranha and you can, it's going to grow back, right? That's what earthworms do. So oh, here you yeah. go, wriggle, wriggle, wriggle. Ew, ew. <laughs> Thank you so much for the conducting baton. Okay, go ahead. You know, <laughs> please, please follow. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, and this can continue. So this this is just a quick warm up, or like um, I'm, you know, I'm walking my dog. You know that game. So anything that where you just you know pass that. It's like I don't know if you want to play these. I'm totally fine with playing it. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, I was just going to move on to things that were, were, were more developed, but we can do the icebreakers. It's fine. Okay, so um, the game where, you know, I say I'm doing something, but my movement is, a dif is different from what I'm saying. And then yes. the next person does the movement that matches what I said, but says something that she's doing something different. So um, this is where I might... Stand up. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. swimming. You're swimming? Yeah. Okay, you're swimming. Don't, and this is the next place, don't you say, Petra, like, hey, Arca, what are you doing? No, no, oh, yeah, you can do it that way. I don't know. That's how I said it. Yeah, no, that, that's, so Petra, you can say, hey, what are you doing? Okay, so I'm, uh, so I'm going after you. So, yeah. Yeah, you're the well, she's taken over because I so I'm sorry, I just see you. I haven't seen Erica. She's 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 soft with her earphones out, so, so the Erica, camera doesn't take right, so go I'll to do, her. All right. This is interesting. Yeah. There yeah. you go. Yes. Right. I'm putting on my headphones. And whenever I do something, I'm gonna make a lot of noise. <laughs> <laughs> whoosh, whoosh. Whoosh. Hey, Erica, Whoosh. what are you doing? Whoosh. I'm chewing gum really loud. Whoosh. Hey, Petra, what are you doing? Oh, I'm having a nap. I'm <laughs> snoring really loudly. <laughs> oh, hey, Buttons, what are you doing? I'm kite surfing. <laughs> How do you do that? Okay. All right, I got the idea. Yay. Erica, oh. Erica, what's your play name? Whirl. Whirl. Yeah, sorry. Whirl. Okay, thank you. Whirl. Got it. Whirl. So you see, those are those work pretty well. Okay. Where you pass, where it's a clear passing round. Everyone's looking at one person. Yes. Um and I'd love to hear Petro or uh, sideways or either of you, like what have you found work for like, um, yes, we, we've used these very successfully. Yeah. Yeah. Any, yeah very similar ones. Around. We, we also, we also have one where the props exercise, mm -hmm. um, where we've transformed it a little. Let me just find a prop here. Um, so, so, uh, what this is really is a, a is a is a USB hub, right? Mm -hmm. But I'd go, oh, um, this is my this is my uh, uh, earring, and uh, I I I only wear one because it's a special earring. And you'd go, that's not an earring. So instead of going, oh yeah, that's an ear, you go, that's not an earring. It's a, and you offer me something else, and I go, yes, yes, of course, it was an ice cream. Uh huh. Right. So, yeah. so we have that inter so that you interact with my prop. Oh, that's nice. So, so we've transformed the props game in that way so that we, because we don't have the same props. Yeah. Although this is my earring, and you go, no, that's not an earring. It's a, it's a harmonica with an antenna. Oh yes, of course. Sorry, I mistook it for an earring. 
<laughs> and then you have yours. And Squirrel says, that's not an harmonica with an antenna. Right, that's, um, that's the matching shoe from my prom dress. Oh, here you go. Thank you. And then you can pick up whatever prop you have and okay. continue to go. Oh, and then I, so I pick up a prop and now. You say oh. what it is. Okay. So, and, and, so everybody gets to have a prop and then everybody responds to the prop? Well, we usually have, have an order. So, so one person responds and then if you responded to me, then you would go and, oh. and, and, okay. and, and have something else that Squirrel will respond okay. to. Okay. So it. after the harmonica, after um, Button says that it was a harmonica, then I'd go, then Buttons, what I do go, you have? Then I go, yeah. oh, look, it's a healing river rock. And I would say, oh, Buttons, you're so silly. That's, that's an entire syllabus for your next corporate training. <laughs> yeah, and she yes. goes, oh, yes, of course, and of uses course the singular is. way. We start here and we progress <laughs> steadily toward here. And this is the climax. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I love that. That's great. And then you pass it. Okay. Yeah, that, and then it's your turn. Yeah. That's nice. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, I, I, I'm, ty I'm just typing notes. I'm done. <laughs> I got it. Yeah. Um, so for slightly longer, I mean, I, I so there are a couple of like different types of exercises, activities that I do. Um, some like whole, a whole cycle that's physical because we're so in a box, right? It's so, and it gets so stationary that I find it really important to break out. Let's do it. So, so we've um, also found that the, the more variety and it, it it keeps it going, yeah. Yeah. Um, principle, yeah. A, a, but before I do that, I want to say that because it's so visual, before we do that, um, it also lends itself to everybody um, like mimicking each other, like one person leading a sort of follow the leader thing where we all do the same visual thing, you know, especially yeah. in a warm up. So, you know, yeah. you know, it can just be like pass on the leadership, but initially, if everybody does the same visual thing, there's a sense of tribe that starts to form. Um, you know, and then like maybe Petra, so number one starting to lead and then two, take it somewhere and we all follow, squirrel. Okay. <laughs> And then, and then three, you know, just when you, when three decides it's time start to, to, and when you've got a lot of people, this can be satisfying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've, we've done this too. It works really, really well. Yeah. 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 So pure visual. As we, the, we did something similar, we did something similar at AIN as well, and it was quite, it created that sense when you when you project your energy uh -huh. into virtual space. Mm -hmm. So so there were four of us online and four of us in the room at AIN, and we were doing this. And that that imaginary idea that you are projecting into the world because we're all in different places of the world. Mm -hmm. So it it creates that unbelievable sense of what did you call it um buttons you said tribe tribe, tribe. Yeah. but that the tribe is is reaching across the globe yeah and you're projecting your energy into virtual space into the actual space between us can can you imagine Ooh. that that, yeah. that this energy is coming from johannesburg and it's <laughs> and it's moving both <laughs> towards new york and towards uh, where are you buttons in Fairfax, North Bay, California. In, in Fairfax, yeah. That's because quite something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is. Well, it is, mag it is ridiculously magical that it, yeah. that it is real. We're not, it's not actually imagining it, right? This is actually what's happening. Like, yeah, but you, you, you need to remember that and visualize it, and it becomes remarkable. Yeah, it is remarkable. So yeah. One of the structures that I 
do for this is the yeah is the um yes let's so okay. anybody who decides it's time to do changes like let's all become willows you know? yes let's yes let's and you do that okay yeah. until somebody else and it's totally random whoever it's like and like and but build on it because if it's suddenly like a totally different thing it can be mm. chaotic so right um so, so let's all uh wield our wands our magic wands to transform the world <sighs> Let's all dance at a rock concert all night long. <laughs> Let's be so tired that we melt in exhaustion. Oh. And sing opera along the way. Why don't we die painful, Ooh. dramatic, <laughs> heartbroken death? <laughs> Let's throw up that terrible lunch we ate and feel much better. <laughs> Let's uh, wipe and have a cool glass of water. Let's have that just showered feeling. <laughs> uh, let's move to a more complicated game. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, though, you guys. This is perfect because I'm going to go teach. You're adding these little subtle twists to, like, you know, this class I'm teaching in like an hour. So. Awesome. Great. I love the story building of le yeah. yes, let. That's, that's what me. I mean. It's much, it's much better when it builds. Yeah. It, it gets tiring really quickly when it doesn't. Yeah. yeah. Really quickly. Ah, um, so for longer games, um, to use the visual things, I've made up a bunch. Um, and one of them, since it looks like a gallery, especially in gallery view, which I'm sorry you don't have, and I don't think I've ever had that issue before sideways. <laughs> so I'm not so, sure. So did the other people that I use iPads, have they found gallery view? Um, or they haven't mentioned the problem. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm like, maybe I'm learning something here. Um, Stop we've done in gallery view is actually have two people um volunteer one they're art critics mm -hmm. and everybody else is a picture in the gallery mm. so it's really fun if they're like five or six you know you can you can strike any number of poses dramatic okay. frame or so they but they're all part of the same show okay. and the two people who are picked yeah so the two people so we'll just use you so um sideways and i will will so we are going to um as art critics comment have a conversation about the the exhibit but we're going to do it in a way that rhymes so two lines that rhyme so do you know this game yeah, and I have to I have to strike a pose. No, you and I, since two people are talking, we're just going to be talking about Erica, basically that picture. So we're sure. so so then she you see that's this thing. If we're talking, I'm going to see you and not Erica. <laughs> so I think I'll strike the pose. Yeah, how about that? 
<laughs> I'll strike the pose, and then you, you, and 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 okay. we're all buttons, and we're all go. Yes, let's the... play that together. Okay. Oh, the agony of the moment seems to give rise to a surreal cogence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it harks forth um, the uh, the torment of a woman who has forgotten her lotions. <laughs> you don't have to rhyme with me. <laughs> oh, I'm like, what? <laughs> what do I rhyme with? <laughs> you, you can create your own rhyme. Just two stanzas that rhyme. Okay. Uh, her hands are outstretched and her, her faith is a wretch. And the realism in the palm gives a sense of aplomb. <laughs> uh, the light from behind uh reminds us we're all of the same kind okay like that yeah like that <laughs> yeah <laughs> so the hell rhymes with cogent <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> i don't even know if cogent is a word <laughs> <laughs> that's good that's great but, okay uh, art critics okay yeah so just you know using the so everybody especially if it's a whole exhibit you have a lot of material um oh, multiple paintings like yes a, everybody like except for the two people so that's a way for everybody oh, to be no. involved um cool yeah yeah i find i found like you know we also do something like laughing where everybody strikes a pose you know you like we move to some music i turn the music off and then everybody strikes a pose and you know do you remember laughing and then you can yeah. speak from the pose so like in order, um, you can say something, like create a scene by, by saying just a short phrase or two, a word or two, you know, from that, that expresses that pose, that speaks from that pose. Do, does that make sense? I might not have explained it very well. Uh, maybe uh, actually. Okay, let's try. Lead, lead it, lead yeah. it. Okay. Um, I'm like doing all these abbreviated leads because I assume, I'm assuming a lot, so. It's um, fun to be led. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna worry about the music. I'm gonna make up, I'm gonna sing this, the music myself. Um, do, 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 do. So we're just dancing while, we're gonna dance while the music is playing. And then as soon as the music stops, freeze. And when the music, when you freeze, where you go in order, I'll start, then you um, squirrel, and then sideways. And you'll just um, say something from that pose and we'll build a little moment like it might we might build on each other and then we'll go back to the music and then we'll strike it and when that music stops we'll pose again and build on that is that clear yes not yet but okay. we'll do it let's do it okay do 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 A, a just won the match. I'm milking this cow, but she's really tall. I've got everything I need for my trip across the country. Do, 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 Are they supposed to be related? Are they supposed to be related? It, it, it's a little more fun if they're related. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Got it. Ah, one more lap and I'm done. Watch but out! I'm right in your way. Stop! Stop! I'm still coming. <laughs> <laughs> Do 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 do
ba da ba da ba 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 da 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 do 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 ba da do da da do do. You you start, Eric. Let's go on to see what it's like. I think they're hiding just behind this next tree. Oh, are they gonna get me? <laughs> I got your back. I got your back. Go ahead. You can jump now. <laughs> so you know, little little ditties. It's another little ditty. Okay. Just a way, another way to use space and form. Just because um, this might actually spark your own imaginations for stuff, mm -hmm. but. Because it, it's a really, like, it's just, I mean, I, I, I kind of invent stuff on the fly sometimes. Yeah. Um, oh, so can I ask a question, uh, Buttons? Um, what is the applied part of the playing? Oh, that part. Well, this is, um, so I have a lot of content, and I, I'll create exercises for the content. This is, but that's kind of hard to explain. Like, sure. um. So, I mean, that's a whole other thing. I was just trying to give you a sense of what I've learned from just the, the pure form side yeah. of it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, these are more like just games that don't have as sure. near applied. But, but you, yeah. you, you use them, you use them uh, strategically for particular content. Yeah, I mean, I, I am, where I use these more random kinds of games are, um, I found that at the beginning and the end, of a session, and then there's content and everything in the middle, it's very applied. Hmm. Breakouts and, so what it's more mean? like a release, it's sort of just like arrive and then a kind of release moment mm. where we just play. Mm. Um, that's, that's where I use these. The applied part, um, the, they tend to be more just focused. Uh, I do a lot of breakout rooms where we just, um, they might do like, question stems, you know, sentence stems where they finish the sentence or repeated questions or um, they're more verbal and they're more focused on the content. So okay, that's interesting. What, what do you do? Yeah, I'd love to hear because I, yeah, how I'd love to hear anything you, you've learned about. Uh, after so we do, we do our applied content tend to also be quite embodied. Um, or that we build the exercises on top of each other so that it leads somewhere so that it becomes strategic so maybe maybe if if we were going to do this last exercise we would then start layering content into the the story and say well if we were talking about your relationship with your with your know, parent child relationships let's make a story about that and then we'd segue into a reflection. So we'd hardly ever play a game without a reflection if if we if we framed if we framed the 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 intention of the of the of the meeting of the of the getting yeah. together. Yeah. Um, and then we we may we may play a couple of games on top of each other and then have a reflective conversation to frame it back yeah. to the yeah. strategic content. Um, and then we would go sometimes into verbal sharing conversations like story sharing or like uh, com complete the sentence or various verbal ones. But we tend to then always tag it, tag it back into an embodied process. So my background is an applied drama, um, which is a, not quite the same as applied improv, um, but it's about creating a, for context for continuous learning so we do tend to have a thing that builds yeah. and 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 has a has a kind of a storyline which i'm sure you do too you know uh, has a has has a, some kind of a lead in and a climax and a denouement um in in some way <clears throat> but to to hold that we often have a strategic uh frame or a holding so so maybe an example would be we once used the five stages of grief what what's your as a, content like what's the what kind of the the, the content there was um holding grief about 
uh, career changes or big big life stories that you that big life shifts that you made this year it was a reflective on the end of the year last year that we did this mm -hmm. and the grief that you that you that you you haven't moved um so it was framed that way and then we held we used the the five stages of grief so we played some games around say acceptance which is a lovely improv principle around anger which could release but then we also did people had we had them create a five point star on their floor in the room mm. and then just they shared a story of grief and then we broke away and did an individual exercise where they they walked their story on their star oh, so in the as i was telling the story i was feeling this and feeling that and feeling that and then they would draw their journey um so this is what my star looked like and we would share that so mine would and then you take that picture whatever it looked like my went back and forth and back and forth and end up looking like a smiley face and then you'd have a story about how a smiley face is exactly the right summary for your so they drew let me just i'm not sure i understand they they would so they first walked so this is what i'm saying it's, it's sort of built of so first star, let me just see if i each point of the star is a is a point in the grief is this yes okay. and and they and we prepared that in an email ahead of time so that they knew and we sent that frame ahead of time uh -huh. and then first they tell a, tell their story of grief as much or as little detail as they wanted to but in breakout sessions in in only pairs yeah. and that was after a warm-up process right yeah so they would tell their story then they would walk their story individually by themselves yeah. on the Mm. on the star while you're watching like i would go no over no we would go off and maybe call, call back in or or just give a break and people would come back when they're done um and then they would to share their story they would go i went i went on my five star so we sent that in an email ahead of time so people had it printed or they drew their own star so that they then could reflect they could show us their journey but by by drawing it on on the on the paper instead yeah. of on the floor yeah no i i yeah i just so that they did they yeah. did the embodied and then they did yeah. the paper version and yeah. then on paper that would take some shape yeah yeah and you would take that shape and read into it whatever you wanted to and say that's exactly a summary of my story in this way exactly. or we had partners we would have their partners say oh that's exactly a summary of your story in this way yeah. um i think we may have done it like that i'm not 100 percent sure i'm sort of recalling but that's just an example of what we might do as a right. as a long a long design yeah that's and yes. and then it yeah it doesn't require a lot of uh whiteboard and screen sharing and so on necessarily no it sounds like it's mostly just a way that you're using the online version as a way to share an exploration that you've done on your own with information you got beforehand like it's a embodied crap way to explore but yes not. that's one way of doing it um but it's it's interspersed with with the games that you and i just did yeah so yeah i'd love to hear i'd love to hear how um like you said, you know, bringing the actual content, like, it, you know, instead of being random, let's create a shape that expresses um, something about acceptance and then yeah. you know, using a theme. And so any, any exercise would just be directed by that theme. But, but only towards the end. So, so it would just be a, another layer of, of the same game. Only toward the end. Sorry, I. Do you want to give an example of um, actual, like, visual, you know, games? Oh, I use games. Um, exercises that you do all online together that build, like, a way to a build with a, a theme that goes through an arc with uh activities yes so i mean i realize that that was an example but it, i i 
can feel how it's complicated and it involves going away and coming back and drawing. But if there's anything that's like more universally applicable. Yeah. Um, so we often use a, a reflective process that goes, and, and now we will use an order. So one, one, two, three, maybe, or three, one, two in this case. And I would, I would, maybe you've shared a story with me. In breakout sessions, we may have shared stories in pairs. And then in the big group, we come back and I'd go, your story was, yeah. And then you would say, I see your story was, and you would, so you would work with me. You would mirror me as I was going. You were talking story about my was, story. We're talking about so my you story. Would, are we talking, are we yeah, talking so, about one person? So, I'm story, maybe you told me a story. Yeah, okay. And I'm sharing with you that the story you shared was, was like this, and you might move with me like that. And then you'd interpret and you'd say, yes, my story was. But still move movement or do I use words? You can use words then. Okay, so yes, my story was about enmeshment and finding myself entangled in a web I couldn't escape from. And I saw a way out for you. Did you see it? The uh, way out was to the left. And then I interpret that, I give words to that. You might. So usually we have one or two exchanges and then we'd have a witness and the witness would say, your story, the, the story the two of you shared can be called and then she'd give it a title. Ah, oh. okay. Yeah. Or, 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 or the whole group would, would title the story in some way. Uh -huh. But we've never worked in groups like 22. At the biggest group we've worked with eight, I think. So they, uh, most of the content happens in breakouts and then the visual, so any storytelling happens just one-on-one, -on -one, it sounds like. Uh, just because it's a safer grouping yeah. within which to tell a personal story. Yeah. Um, it's safer, and then the interpretation happens in in the group. Um, what or some the of the feedback happens in the group, or maybe just the reflection. Yeah. And sometimes the reflection is very simple. It's it's this experience for us was, and maybe you and I would work together, and we'd say our experience was, and then it's it's a give and take, right? So. I'd be mirroring you and you, me, and yeah. Oh. And then she would name it and say, oh, your, your experience was whatever it looked like you, to you, um, squirrel. Yeah. I think it looks so that like that kind of I thing. Might, I might try this activity in a, like about an hour and a half from now. <laughs> As a debrief, it seems it's a cool one, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice. Um, you know, it could also just be static, like, and then you add to it. Yeah. And then it changed from this to. Hmm. There we go. Or I want it to change to that. Like you can have a, this would be the resolution. Absolutely. You could do yeah. that. Yeah. So the we, 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 we tend not to require resolution. Uh huh. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we, we tend to take whatever comes. Uh -huh. So so we so we don't require a resolution. Yeah. Um, I was thinking of um, theater of the oppressed. Um, yes. Right. That kind of resolution. Of that. Yes. But, yes. Yeah. Like you know, from here now, what would be the? Yeah. I'm thinking totally not. I'm thinking about a different way to use this. Like like. Um, someone could start like I'm grouping these people back together and like okay what's happened since the last thing or you know someone could do a debrief the storyteller instead of telling the story in words they could come up with like 
you know, a gesture or emotion or something. Yeah. And then the other person could say, could give words to that. Like your story yeah. is about this. And then they say, uh, yes, yes, and also whatever, you know. Yes, 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 lovely. And so that they can build on it. So if I, if I, if I got some of it, but there was more on your side, yeah. you could say, and, and, and there's right. more. Right, like you start, yes. and it's like that frustration, and then it's like, and then might add. You know? yes. I'm, thinking, I'm thinking if there's a way to, uh, yeah, like I, I was totally, using this selfishly for my own thing of like, hmm, I could start the group off. Like, what was your experience last week of applying these principles, you know, and then have them think about what that could be and then actually try to represent it in some type of motion or something. And yeah, it could be fun. I'll try it yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and we also don't always require a building. So if, if you just yeah. wanted to say my experience was, mm, yeah, it doesn't need to go anywhere. It can just be held and witnessed. Yeah, this is in more in the domain of like um, a personal growth. Like, uh, like the, your your world is um, sounds like a healing. Um, what what do it you could <laughs> it it could be it could be it could be either. I I think I just think maybe our context is skeptical of. Um, skeptical of resolution. I'll just. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I'm not even commenting. Yet, but just, what's what is what do you do? What's your it's um drama therapy? Apply drama. It 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 does have some therapeutic elements, but it isn't therapy. But I guess I was also stuck in the in the grief frame because we don't always we always we also have something called flying pigs, where we are just talking about the. <laughs> the transformation we'd like to see that people think is is impossible but that's what let's, we still let's go for try that. that one let's try that one <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna want to leave in about five minutes you guys because um, so so let's um, so i can, walk I, I can invite you I, to the next I'll, I'll invite you to the to our next engagement oh, I um, that. it's going to be a long one uh, but maybe you want to try the first i'm going to let people try the first one and then see if they want to stick stick for the for the process what, what uh, it? but it, it yeah it's it's about um finding ways to do meaningful work in the midst of the business busyness of of living and surviving and we are our flying fig is looking for narrative heuristics that can apply to you personally so you're going to find your own narrative heuristic for your story about how to do meaningful work in the midst of <sighs> <laughs> yeah and how many sessions and what what we're gonna have seven sessions over seven weeks always the same time 45 minutes a session with with work to be oh. done in between so that it's a journey um and you and, and, and you I, you? say again you you said we is are you leading it alone me or and christian you? me and christian yeah our, our first session is on the 16th of november oh yeah okay this time Eight, eight to eight to quarter past. Well, probably an hour because that f first fifteen minutes is obviously of often used for people to figure out their technicalities. November so when? Eight. Uh, eight oh, what time did you start? Ten, ten for for you buttons. Eleven, and what time was it? Eleven for me. Two for was me. Was eleven? Yeah, eleven. What time was it for you? Two. 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 Yeah. So that's the time it will be. What date? Yeah, what was the date again? I, I have it's a Thursday. It's a Thursday, the sixteenth of November. And then it goes um, from there. A bunch of Thursdays in a row. Every Thursday, every Thursday, same time. So, do you cap the number of people that you let into a group? We have never needed to, but sure, I I'll probably cap it at eight. Yeah, I I was capping. At 12 and I think that's still too much yeah I, pr I would probably cap this one at eight because it's it we want people to go quite deep and we want them an opportunity to share their journey yeah with one another so and that is easier to do in a smaller group okay wow um, I'm really curious so I'm gonna I, I'm feeling like it, I want to leave with you Erica um, squirrel and and I just feel like my appetite's really been whetted for the building and the 
applied drama side, like what you're, mm. what you're developing. I've, you know, it's not an area that I've had a lot of, you know, a little bit, but not a lot of exposure. So I'm really curious and mm -hmm. interested in the, so, in the more of the art. So the gift that you gave me today, both of you, let me start with um, uh, buttons. Buttons, your gift of continuous building and commitment to play. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. That was, I, I, I really, I received quite a lot from you okay. today. Um, Good. Yeah, but just the idea that the yes, let's exercise is less tiring when it builds <laughs> is, a, is fabulous. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's so true because I was just I had it on my list and I was like, but uh, I had that little feeling about it, like you yeah. just resolve the feeling about it. <laughs> Good. Good. Yeah. So I want to just add you, one more thing that I, I find really delightful when there's a lot of people on the screen is that um, I call it the explode code, and um, it's just a device to shift energy, and it's we all just explode. It's basically anyone can call it if they feel like it's needed. But you just say explode, and everyone goes. <laughs> <laughs> and what is it's like if it's gotten too verbal, if it's gotten too because I do, I have a lot of content. I have a lot of, um, I give talks in the middle, and I, so I go to speaker view, and then I come out. It's like okay, explode. It's just a nice, quick. Thing. I'm going to use that offline. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I actually in my coaching, I I recommend it in, in, as a way to take a quick break. Brilliant. I, I, I teach, I teach 32 honor students um, and we need a lot of energy shifting from time to time. So yeah. I'm going to use that. Exploding Thanks. melting is also good. Like if the low if the energies, you know, you can do lots of things. You can turn into gas. So anybody can just initiate that. So if you just start seeing people melting, you're like, yeah. and then everyone melts. <laughs> it's a way to go with. I love it. It's a way to <laughs> Yes, the energy, or you know, you can do a dramatic shift. Like it's an it's an NLP principle. You actually create possibilities when you do a when you just completely disorient. It's a way to disorient yourself. Uh -huh. and actually, very much fresher. I mean, there's like there's there's some science behind this one. Um, there always is. <laughs> yeah, if it works. You mean behind the explode, not the melt? Behind the explode. Yeah, there's science. Yeah, but yeah, melting. If we all just okay. And then resurrect. So, so squirrel, your gift was your, your selfishness for finding ways to interpret this for your class. <laughs> because that, that, that focus brings, um, brings an applicability that we always need for this work. If it, if it isn't applied, it isn't applied. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. thank you for that. Yeah. Just your iteration on that, on that uh, idea that I shared because of that focus was valuable. Yes, I love those conversations. <laughs> I really loved, I think what the gift I got from it, this was like, like, just like the sound ball thing, the, you know, or like, you know, here you go. Like just the, yeah. how, you know, how real we, these games that bridge that space and that, and sort of that heart tease of, you know, you're like connected, but you're far away, but we're close, but, but we're really connected. And like, it's just messes with our sensibilities, you know, and it just teases that and it, and how, yeah. And how much intimacy you can create and how delightful that is. So those couple examples of passing the gift around, I mean, really, yes. you really feel it, you know, um, that was really cool. That's, so you made that a lot more, real for me that oh people could really enjoy this they could really you know some of these games are going to fit really well yeah. with no loss and actually an uh, enhancement so i guess that's yes. where i'm curious or what are the what are the things that this space provides you know what are the opportunities that this space provides given that it's given we really are in different locations so like that example of that we get to pick up objects in our own space and then share those. I'm curious about that, like more ways that I could just think of ideas, right? 
but like how this object it's I could pass it to you and it could become something in your life and I don't know I think that's it's almost like my brain believes it it's like oh she did get you know like I love that like <laughs> and it, you know like play I think this I think there's a lot that this with creative minds we could come up with a lot of things that this could do that will sort of really help us suspend reality back and forth yeah yeah great Beautiful. and i i just really appreciate um like one profound thing for me is i've done this alone as the only person i knew who was creating in this space mm. and i i'm like just so delighted to have colleagues <laughs> yes let's be colleagues yes <laughs> <laughs> and I like to share because I, I mean, I really had to learn the hard way. I haven't had anybody offer their best practices. And, um, you know, it's been Same. a long <laughs> There's been a high body yeah. count. <laughs> yeah, let's be colleagues. I think that's the coolest thing about this format is we really can be. Like, I feel like, I don't know how you guys think, but I think like, oh, I could call you two up if I want to pilot something or try something oh, out. Yeah. You know, we can, we can put it in the group or whatever. Yeah, I've yeah. used, I have used this because I'm the only person in my area who's doing anything like this. So I've met people at conferences and be like, hey, I want to try out a game. And like three people in Brazil are like, okay, it is so <laughs> wonderful, right? <laughs> to have yeah. colleagues. Yeah. And that is yeah. the opportunity. Sure. And I'll, I'll just add to that the, like, I really um, haven't explored as much the build around the theme. You know, I like, I've been working on different parts of the project and I haven't really just done the fully applied. So I'm yes. looking forward to even sharing some of the content that I use and seeing if you have thoughts about how to, what exercises to. I would, I'd sure. be totally happy to do that. I feel I'm doing both. I have some things that are totally uh, uh, content that the applied is like how I teach and other things like what I'm doing right now, which is more like, core principles improv and let's see where you apply and i'm having to pull back from that and so uh yeah both are interesting to me cool yeah same all right i'm gonna walk myself to my uh teaching location <laughs> okay. i gotta get out of here <laughs> okay and i'm gonna thank you thank stop you stop recording <laughs> stop recording goodbye stop recording. Bye.